Uh, so I'm Isaac Yeoman. Uh, I run a multimedia boutique agency called IO. We do uh, film production. We also do uh, multi um, media branding and social media brand management. So we, we kind of like across the board photography. Um, we do a few things. Like I say, LA is like my second home. I probably am here maybe uh, four to five times a month. Um, we had we actually have a, a small office out here, so we're here um, this time. It's crazy because now I'm here and I don't have to work, which is typically not the case. I'm usually here working on a project, but uh, Venom Brisk um, is a huge project that I was a part of with the movie Venom with Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures. Um, and man, it was just an amazing campaign. I had the opportunity to work on. It's crazy, Tom Hardy. Um, he did an amazing job in the film, and uh, man, it's, it's been. I've been working on this project for four months, so it's been a journey. With, with, with most movies, uh, just like this one, like Black Panther, they do um, brand partnerships. So Sony and Marvel Studios partnered up with Brisk. Um, I'm sure y'all probably seen Black Panther. Lexus was inside, so it's like very similar thing. Uh, and we had a chance to direct the the brand commercial for the collaboration they did with Venom. And so it's a special drink, it's called Venom Brisk. Um, it's a dark cherry lime, obviously the color and the tech flavor is synonymous with the movie because the whole, you know, it's black and red. So it's real dope. Uh, and we did like a slew of different things. We did the main commercial spots. We did a bunch of cut downs, 30 seconds, 15 seconds, six seconds. We did product uh, spots for them. So it was, it was a, a, a bit of work and we, it was crazy visual effects on it because it had like the whole Venom yeah, symbiote in it so it was, it was dope. Um, Man like how like how crazy they like how top level security they are with their assets. Yeah like when we were going to set uh, I had in my treatment and storyboard for it to be Venom posters behind uh the character and sony and we in order for us to get the original comics mm -hmm. sony sent the posters with a security guard yeah so it was wild he was there all day it wasn't like he just like came and left like he was there like he like bro can't nobody see this i mean i think because it shows um uh, you know it humanizes even us i think everybody sees a little something of their self in these films uh and you know this project is no different when you think about venom and the whole campaign we are venom is like based around all of us you know have a little venom in them venom in us yeah. you know everybody isn't perfect everybody isn't polished everybody isn't you know uh super clean and so i think when you see when you see yourself in a character in any project i think that's it it connects. I was always into music, always into entertainment, always into art. I grew up, I was, I used to draw, then that moved into me doing like graphics and then I did music. That's my heart and soul was like music. I went, to, it still is music. Music will always be my first love. I always tell people that um, I went to school for music. I went to Full Sail University, graduated with my bachelor's degree in entertainment business and um, audio engineering. And so after that, I went on to, you know, work with, you know, a bunch of artists from Beyonce to Chris Brown to Trey Songs to Rick Ross. I mean, the list is crazy. And, uh, you know, I just slowly started picking up a camera because I wanted to learn, you know, visuals because they were becoming so much more mainstream and it kind of was becoming a thing like yo if you know how to do this um you know it's an extra piece of arsenal you know and so and when i started doing film it was before instagram even was thought about before facebook was popping and so it was just crazy like to see now how huge of an influence visual is like some like an interview isn't as impactful if you can't see you know uh Radio interviews are are getting more to the place now, even where they are filming their stuff. So it's just crazy. And then when you pick up your phone, 
all you see is video all day on Instagram, Facebook. So it's just crazy to see how, you know, something I started in and being an early contributor of it uh, has progressed so much. Yeah, you got to, I think, go into things with zero expectation. Everything, every project, every interview, every, I go into it with zero expectation. And I think when you do that, um, if you leave with nothing, then your expectations was nothing anyway. Um, and so, and then I also think you always got to remain humble and always know you're the rookie. Like some people will see this project um, that I worked on with Marvel Studios and Sony Pictures and probably tell their friend and be like, yo, it's this new director, he's hot. And I'm thinking in my mind like, bro, I've been doing this for almost 15 years. You know what I mean? And so you got to always just stay humble and know that your time could be any time. And one thing that I always like tell like new up and coming filmmakers or musicians or just anybody into the entertainment industry, all it takes is one yes. So keep grinding until you get that yes that you need, because that yes will, you know, snowball effect into all your dreams coming true. And, you know, uh, you never know. You never know who is who, you know, especially when you're in Hollywood. I'm sure, you know, you can be around somebody and they literally look like they have you have no idea that this person probably don't want Emmys, Grammys might be, you know, what I'm saying the richest person in Orange County. And because, you know, especially out here in Hollywood, because everybody is so low key. And so, man, you just got to. And most of the people that flash, you really ain't got it. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, I mean, you know, it's just like one of those things where you got to stay humble and just I think just being level helps a lot. You know what I'm saying? And do things in good faith. Uh, we're transitioning from uh, just doing one off visuals and productions to agency. Um, style uh, content so we started off just doing you know commercials music videos um, short films but they were just like one-off pieces if a client wanted to do that or we had a project we were doing it was just like one-off thing but now we're doing more like brand management where we'll work with a company and kind of A to B it so yeah we'll we still specialize in video content but we'll do the video content and then you know it will you know We'll post it, we'll roll it out on social media, websites, so on and so forth. Uh, to be be open when you're collaborating. When you're collaborating, you gotta have an open mind. You gotta be able to, um, you know, have an idea, but be open to, to changing that idea for the betterment of the project and to make everybody happy, you know what I mean? Uh, because at the end of the day, if everybody isn't happy when you leave, like some directors are so like, yo, this is my idea, it gotta be this, and if it's not this, I ain't doing it or it ain't gonna work, you know what I mean? But if, you don't, if you're doing it for yourself, you might as well just record little home videos and stuff at the crib, you know what I mean? Like this is for the masses and this is for multiple people to like it. And yeah, you know, you do definitely have uh, companies that will sabotage an image of what they think the culture is and what it what they think something is supposed to be and it's not supposed to be so I'm not saying don't speak up for certain things but uh, you know be able to be open be able to collaborate and uh, you know I, I, I already was like that but this forced me to be even more and just be open-minded you know um, so yeah yeah uh, so everything for IO is IO agency IYO agency so instagram is io agency facebook twitter all that instagram and then uh my personal handle is chill vibes c-h-i-l-l vibes spelled exactly how it sounds that's on instagram facebook all that so